Hey, this is Silphy, and today I'll be covering game between Badgerel, who is going to be playing Onidelps, versus Deathcom 3, who is going to be playing Southern Lands. So for Deathcom, we have a Guardian of Eratat with Relic Guardian Tub 2. We have a Deep Elf Priestess for Badgerel. Motor attack. Also, he has a stealth champ. Let me see. A deep elf scout, which I'm sure is going that way. Uh, for Deathcom, he has a Skywing Acid Crow. Because of reinforcement, he got the front with pounce and incur. A Nefari Guardian, Tremor, Bodyguard, Assistant Physical. I haven't recorded games in a while, so that's why I'm glad I was able to record this one. I saw, uh, I think it's named Mirror that recorded one, so I was glad he put one up. So I wanted to put one um, to help out. Uh, we have a Skyway Eminent, Punish, and Vulnerable. I'm thinking he may, he may be thinking about putting the relic down, but with tremor, then magic attack, six, 14, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, he won't be able to kill any um, on this turn. Let's see, it's up to 17 damage for defense. There's the banner. I wonder if he's gonna go down here. Okay. Magic attack, yeah. See, at this point, he's taking four, six. He's taking eight less damage um, because of the bonus also. So it's, it's very tanky at the moment. But what I was saying, I was wondering if the D scout is gonna be going here or kind of up here to reinforce because He's going to need it up here because the Guardian does alt damage. Well, all of them does alt damage, so this um, resistance is not going to do anything for him. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but the lawn is being mowed, so once I check over this, if it's too loud, I may have to edit out a part. Okay, we have a pounce. I'm gonna attack off. We have a Drago Leech, Flame Siphon, and Burn. So I wonder what what would be a good champ at this point. Would a melee or would a range champ be best? I'm thinking because I'm thinking a melee. So maybe like a deep elf fanatic, something like that. Because if he does a gremlin. I mean, it's going to be easy to, yeah, something like this. Chosen of Osarius. Yeah, so um, a melee kind of tanky champ. That was a secret meeting, I believe. Yeah, secret meeting. So um, he's up here somewhere with, well, within two spaces of, I think she was here. So within that area, within two spaces of, you know, somewhere within there. 
So if he has an AOE like a tornado, he can reach it. Okay, Flame Cyclone itself for Sonora. Yeah, I think I see everyone run board shield on it and rank two uh, firearm. All oh, right, he has punish. Which is kind of, which is not unheard of to forget about because this is my first time seeing this champ in a long time. Even though I've seen a lot of sky wings of that, maybe they don't get to the point to where they actually summon it. But this is my first time, like I said, seeing it in a while. So I'm pretty sure it can catch you off guard. Or you may, you know, forget that it has punish. Like a lot of champs that have blockade even though you see it on them you know in the midst of the battle it's easy to forget they actually have it so what i'm gonna assume is that the on the guardian i think um tremor may be ready again so he's probably gonna move this back uh tremor to lock to kind of keep that in place and maybe just sacrifice the guardian to contest this point one more turn because he's not gonna beat it or he may be getting to do a retribution but is that gonna be enough yeah he does a tremor just hit three also we have a rumbler with electric electricity or rank one and search dragon thinking he was planning on doing a retribution that's why he that's why he may have kept this one up here okay no yeah because he he knew it was gonna die if it stayed here so and there goes the fascinate so now he could no he's all by one pounce I believe is all cool down there Okay, so he is in the front. I really hope that lawnmower wasn't loud because this is my first match and I really, I really don't feel like starting over or having to do another at the moment. Okay, that was a I'm trying to think I know the name of it um got the name of it offhand but yeah the um spell that when your champ dies it um does this to your opponent the, the nearest champ um consumed by fire shielded pacified was able to kill both of them and the rumbler can keep this one occupied i mean it has short live rank two so this one is pretty much lost um death come three has this one as far as this one He's contesting it, but not too much he can really do with just one champ because Death Clown can just easily bring out reinforcements here. the deep elf and pilfer very cheap 55 i didn't know it was that cheap but i mean yeah it, it does the job it's just for you know e dealing with equipments and finding stealth units you know 55 nor 
that we're supposed to. He needs another relic down here. I'm trying to see if he can. He can only get one. Okay, there's a another acid crawl with pounce. Yeah, so he can easily, like I said, reinforce from right here. I guess he's calculating now. Okay, yeah, he'll be able to kill it. I was wondering. Right, it had empowered. That's why its range was so high. I forgot about that. So yeah, I was wondering why I was one of three, but it had empowered, so that's why its range was much higher. And he dies because of the aura. Deep Elf Scout will be dead next turn. Well, let's see. He moves four. No, he, he can probably survive one more turn. We have a Nefari Grief Bearer, Drudgery, and Nexus Aura. Probably, I was thinking he may. Okay, that was a tornado. Okay, yes, yeah, so he got it. I wonder if he's going to use all his AP because of that. I mean, I don't see a lot of people using this with the grief bear, so. I mean, it's not going to make much of a difference, even if he does it. If Badger does it his turn, but. So he maybe would have at least used most of it. Well, Death Calm, I thought he would at least use most of his AP, anticipating that he may use that this turn. We have a Vossel Reaver with Blood Frenzy. And throw shield, and the rumbler just died because of short lived. Okay, there's another guardian's treasure. I know he wish he could have got the majestic onto the reaver, and we have a rage man. damage not bad and he heals up a bit so yeah this guardian is it's a monster um, if it has you know any relic around it in addition to the SL bonus like I said eight at the moment I mean it's it's stopping eight damage so if he was to attack with the reaver, only do 11. Okay, not quite enough to kill that. Okay, and there goes the drudgery. Didn't affect um, the guardian because of unstoppable. Trying to keep the eye at the bottom, see what he does. He 
if he has another Rumbler, he'll be able to kill it with the Aura. Is that purge? Yeah, purge to get rid of. I'm impenetrable. Skywing Patrol. And he's going to contest the front. So, yeah, this I feel safe in calling this one game. I mean, when they were all over here, I think I may have called it in, but you know, some games I've been recording. I haven't put any of those up yet, but I've been recording and I'll call a game. And then after a while, depending on who it is, they make a combat. So that's why I'm trying not to get in the habit of calling it too early. Just wait a while when it comes to for a second waste. You know, that's where it's kind of difficult because a lot of time it'll look like the Forsaken Waste player is losing and then all of a sudden, you know, they make a comeback. But I'm comfy at this point that Death Calm 3 has the game. But we'll see how it plays out. He may have Nexus R up. I think that's why he moved the messenger here. So both of them will survive this turn. You have a phalanx marker. And get him Battlemaster. Yeah, yeah, so it's up. If it wasn't, Grief Barrel would definitely be dead. So they decide to move back so that so that um, the damage went split between the three of them, just those two. You see both of them took 10 damage. That's the beauty about Rumbler and it's 59 or also so if your opponent does go for it i mean it's 59 aura it normally you know gets um its damage worth let me look up that ability i know the name of it but i, I just can't think of it offhand right now we have a deep elf mercenary after he used sacrifice on grief bearer okay rumblers dead He's already used his purge and he can't equip the guardian with the um, staff, dragon god staff, so he's not going to be able to cleanse, well, yeah, it well, can't be cleansed anyway. He hasn't summoned in a while, well, other than that rumbler. I wonder if he's going to actually get a, maybe a, um, I think maybe Vendrax. Dragon Fear. So she's all struck um, and distracted.
we have a soul bleeder. So bleed it won't be enough. You're gonna need something else to finish it off. Okay, he's gonna transfigure his shrine. And that will be enough to kill it. Now all Deathcom has to do is just hold out. And he wins the game. Okay, that's the name of it. That um spell that when your champ dies, it um does consume by fire to the nearest champ. It's called Avenging Flame. A new name, but I just can't think of it. There is a Skywing Imperator, Sand Spray Acid Bomb. gonna go for I thought he may go here and try to contest that but it really wouldn't matter because he does have the skywing beacon here and he can just steal summon there um yeah he can finish it off if he moves here but I mean you, he's gonna be crowding his champ here for the uh, acid bomb and or sand spray. He may go for this. Okay, Widowmaker. So, okay. So that worked. the imminent he does have reflection for when it's attacked He's going for the messenger, which is the better option. Well, that's out of the two here. That's the, you know, easiest chomp to kill. I'm trying to see what is he going to summon? Okay, another patrol. Okay, messenger is dead. Kill this, but this new one can just place down another one. Um, Soul Bleeder didn't. Let me see. Okay. 
I'm not sure if he used his exertion yet or not. Okay, many echoes. He's gonna need something else to kill. Also, he's gonna acid bomb this turn. He'll be able to get. Okay, I'm just about to say he'll be able to get both, but he moved out of the way. Yeah, but um, you can see by this match, this is what I meant by, like when I say I call games too early in that, I meant what I said in this game. Cause like I said, once I saw he had both points and, you know, he had them here. So when I first said it, I meant that I stood by, but there've been a lot of games where I've said that and then the other person come back and we saw how good he was doing uh, towards the end, you know, after they came up to his shrine. He did way better, but he is a, a known player. Um, I would say one of the top, especially in UD. I think that's kind of his thing. So he definitely knows what he's doing when it comes to um, under depths. But yeah, at that point, we had both. As long as Defcom didn't make any major mistakes, he had the game. So even if he comes here and and kill these two and he can um death Comp can still summon in here there's another imperator but this was a good game i'm glad i was able to record it i um, mean um the avatar is immunity fire and like i said i'm gonna check again i hope that lawnmower wasn't too loud. There is a fire ruby. Um, yes, yeah, sand spray. Will they actually be on um, their bet? These two abilities have to be available during the same time. That was a tornado. Okay, there's a acid bomb in the sand spray. Okay, this will be over next turn. Okay, another acid bomb. Sand spray. Okay, that's gonna be a good game. It's real weird saying that. Um, I, I'm so used to saying GG. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that, and see you next time. Bye.